In this video, we're going to sketch a normal curve. Consider the example where the mean is 110 and the standard deviation is 15. On the x-axis, plot the mean, which is 110. Also plot the mean plus a standard deviation and the mean minus a standard deviation. In our case, those values are 125 and 95 respectively. The high point of the curve will be at the mean. Now this would be about 50% of that high point. The height at one standard deviation above and one standard deviation below will be 60% of that uh, highest point. So it's a little above halfway up. So let's plot those two points. An interesting fact about normal curves is that within one standard deviation of the mean, the curve is concave down. Outside of one standard deviation, it's concave up. Approximately 68% of the population is within one standard deviation of the mean. Within two standard deviations of the mean, there's one standard deviation, there's two standard deviations. Going in this direction, one standard deviation, two standard deviations. 95% of the population is within two standard deviations of the mean. And if you go out to three standard deviations, within three standard deviations of the mean, there's 99.7% of the population. Now each of these x values could be converted to a z-score. A z-score is how many standard deviations a point is away from the mean. The z-score is calculated as it's the number of standard deviations an x value is away from the mean. So x minus mu would be how far x is away from the mean, either positively or negatively, divided by the standard deviation. Of course, the mean is zero standard deviations away from the mean, so the mean in a standard normal curve is going to be zero. This mean converts to zero. One standard deviation above the mean is at 1. So converting to standard deviations, 110 gets converted to 0, and this 125 gets converted to 1. And of course, one standard deviation below the mean will be at a minus 1. This is a normal curve, so its high point is going to be at the mean. The height at these two points will be about 60% of that high point, so around in there, around in there. It's going to be concave down through here and concave up outside of there. Often we're going to be interested in converting a normal curve to standard normal curves and doing our calculations in a standard normal curve. Standard normal curves have a mean of zero and a standard deviation of one.